blood sugar monitoring is one of the most important parts of managing your diabetes. This video segment will discuss why you check blood sugar, list when to check a blood sugar, describe how to use a blood sugar meter, and review how to use a blood sugar log. So why do you need to check blood sugars? Safety is a big reason. Frequent blood sugar checks help identify low blood sugars. Almost no one feels all low blood sugars that happen. Blood sugar control is another reason. Checking a blood sugar is the only way to know if you're getting the right amount of insulin. Use the information you get to make the right changes and your blood sugar will improve. Improved blood sugar control lowers the risk for diabetic eye, kidney, and nerve complications. The risk of heart attack in later life is also reduced with better sugar control. Managing illness at home requires frequent blood sugar testing. People who check blood sugar often during illness are less likely to need hospital treatment. You'll learn more reasons to check blood sugar as your time goes by, but in general, anyone on insulin should check blood sugar at least four times a day, usually before meals and at bedtime. Do not eat within the two hours before a pre-meal test. Other times include any time the symptoms of low or high blood sugar appear, occasionally during the night to make sure you're not getting too low, and as needed to evaluate how exercise affects blood sugar. Now let's talk about how to do a blood sugar test. It's important to make sure you're getting an accurate test result so you can give the right amount of insulin. Here are a few things to remember to make sure you get the correct blood sugar reading. First, does your meter need a code? Some meters don't require coding, but if yours does, this is an important step. The code showing on the meter when you take a test must match the code on the bottle of strips you're using. Look for the expiration date on the bottle of strips to make sure the strips have not expired. Do a test using the control solution when opening a new bottle of strips or any time you want to check for meter accuracy. The control solution tells you if the strips and the meter are working well together. Make sure the result falls within the range listed either on your bottle of strips or the control solution bottle. If it doesn't, repeat the control test. If it fails again, get a new bottle of strips. Also, remember to close the bottle of the strips. Too much light, heat, or moisture can ruin the strips. Next, prepare your lancing device or what we often call your finger poker. It's best if you change the needle called a lancet every time you do a test. This way, the poke doesn't hurt as much and the needle stays clean. Never share used needles with anyone else. Wash your hands with soap and warm water to increase blood flow and clean the skin. Any sugar on the finger can make the reading too high. Don't routinely use alcohol since alcohol left on the skin can interfere with the test results. Alcohol also dries and toughens the skin. Chemicals in sanitizers and gel can also cause the blood sugar test to be wrong. Put your test strip in the meter. Load Lancet into finger poker. Set depth. Place finger poker firmly on the side of your finger or thumb. Avoid the finger or thumb pads because it hurts more there. Press the release button. Let the test strip sip up the blood sample. In just a few seconds, your blood sugar appears on the meter. Dispose of the finger poker needle or lancet in an appropriate puncture-proof sharps container. A few more things about the meter. Make sure the date and time are correct. If you're not able to write it down on your log, you'll know exactly what to write down later. 
Instructions for changing the date and time are in your instruction manual. If you are having a problem changing the date and time, or any time you have a problem with your meter, you can call the toll-free help number that is on the back of the meter. Now, what about blood sugar logs? We recommend using logs to identify trends. While all meters have a memory that saves your blood sugar numbers, you can't identify trends in blood sugars with the meter memory. Your diabetes educator will help you find the best log sheet for you. Here are some of the things you need to know about using blood sugar logs. First, you need to know your target range. A blood sugar target range is the desired blood sugar level for your particular age group. At least half the values at each time of day should be in your target range. It's what you aim for, a target range. Here are some of the recommended ranges for each age group. Notice that for safety, the levels are higher at night. Once you write blood sugars on your log, highlight the numbers that are above your range in one color and the numbers below your range in a different color. Now look at the weekly log. It's easy to see how many numbers are above target and how many are below target. Review these logs at least weekly, looking for patterns and trends. It's a good idea for one or both parents to sit down with the child and talk about the blood sugar record. If most of the numbers for a certain time of day are out of the recommended range for your child, then it's time to talk about insulin dose adjustment. Remember, there are no good numbers and no bad numbers. The numbers on the log give you the information you need to make changes to improve your blood sugar control. You can look at the relationship of your blood sugar to your insulin action to see which insulin dose needs adjustment. Over time, you'll learn how to change your doses by yourself, but if you need help, a member of our diabetes care team is available between clinic visits. When it's time for a clinic visit, always bring your meter and logs with you. Be ready to talk about the trends you've seen and the changes you've made. You'll get the most out of your visit and be on your way sooner when you have the right information with you. Checking blood sugars and keeping a blood sugar log is a lot of hard work. It is best done with parent and child working together. Think of your blood sugar logs as a road map to good health. You know where you want to go. Your blood sugar target range and your day-to-day -day logs tell you if you're heading in the right direction.